I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it crew. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take the soul. See my presence aggressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. I don't know their names, but they all wanna ride. All this energy around me, I feel so alive. This must be the vibe, this must be the vibe. Hey guys, Lockworker here, and for today's video, I will show you how you can counter Lindis, the best um, jungler right now. She is really strong because of her amazing mobility and her damage. So let's see. As Zephyrus, your goal at the beginning is to get level 4 really quick and then usually you try to camp in bushes and predict the pathing of enemy Lindus. So for example, you're level 4, you're camping in a mid bush and you know she will run through the bush to go for either mini dragon or dragon. Or you try to counter jungle her. Uh, no, I, I mean counter gank her. Like, you know, most Lindus players will usually go for a level 4 gank at bottom. So, you wait in the bush till she comes out. And if she's not in the bush, it's much easier to aim on her. So, the most important thing is to... Camp in bushes, predict her pathing. Like as you as you can see, we knew because we saw her red buff that she would go to red buff, <laughs> and she's already tilted. Uh, she would go to red buff as well to steal the red buff to counter the invade. So we caught her off when she got the red buff and went back. That's all you got, Lindus. Where was I? Yeah. Camp in the bushes, go for counter jungling. Um, yeah, go for counter jungling, go for counter gangs. What else? Oh yeah. You have to hit your ultimate on Zephyrus, for example. Like, you can't miss it. If you miss it, it's she can just escape for sure. So, either... Wait till she, uh, till you know when you can hit her for sure, or you try to slow her first uh, with your first skill and like you have red buff with first skill and then auto attack you will slow her. And right now I knew the red buff is going to spawn, and I go for counter jungling. And we know they are preparing for a counter invade as well. We kill Zenil. And now I'm rotating to... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm taking her other camps because I think she already got our red buff anyways. Let's see. We can kill Liliana right now. Oh, I missed. <laughs> that was bad, I should have hit that. She's still... Does she die? Should be dead. Oh, she, she survived. Yeah, that was bad. If I... Hit my first skill better, I would have got her for sure. And she's out of position, and we can kill her for free. Let's see. We shoot the Drake right now. After killing Arthur, because he's out of position as well. Like, Lindis on open field is so easy to kill, and her advantage is, of course, um, her passive and the bushes. Now get Drake or go bots. Let's see, what are we doing? Drake. Let me think what, what else is good against Lindus. 
Yeah, just just in general, assassins like Zuka, Scott, they are really good against Lindus. Flash is good against Lindus. Mm, Zephyrus is good as well. Murad is good. It's all about catching her off guard and don't let her fa don't let her farm up. If you're not winning early game, she's the one who's scaling and not you most of the time. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I'm I'm really fat. What the, what's my score? Five zero. Oh. Yeah, I'm so fat right now. And always remember, <clears throat> and always remember, as I told you guys, to auto cancel. When going for invades, uh, camping is good as well. Like you know their red buff is up. Enemy red buff is up. Lindus will go for enemy red buff. And you just camp in the bush, wait till, uh, till she uh, shows up. Do your full combo on her and she will just die. Because she's really squishy. And she relies on poking and running through bushes. But if she's um, doing her red buff, most of the time she will do it right in front of the red buff and she is vulner uh, vulnerable right at that moment. And see, I just dive her and she just pops like a cherry. <laughs> um. As always, calculate it. Yeah, this game is pretty much over anyways. We snowballed the Lindus so hard, we stole her red buff twice. We... Let me think. We got all dragons, we have the tower... Yeah, look at the map. We didn't lose any towers. Only one person died. Full control since early game. And that's what you want to do against uh, uh, Lindus. And she's dead again, yeah. She's... Tilted. Oh, yeah, did you, did you remember my number one tip? Tilt your opponents and you saw we killed her level one and she was already so tilted that the game was already won at that point, to be honest. And you guys think that's just a random... Uh, yeah, he's still a random guy, but he's still Mal Conqueror. Like, I will show you later, that Linus player is Conqueror, so he's not too bad, I guess. And he's dead again. The life of Linus when playing against Zephyrus. Nice. I like it. I like Linus. She's... I think Zephyrus is so good against Linus, depending on... On the early game, if you get countered, if the Lindus has a good backup and they are going for invade early game, then you have a big problem. But usually in Conqueror, you can easily get to level 4, and once you have that, you just need to play around Vision and knowing the pathing of the Lindus and try to catch her either when she's going for a gank or when she's doing a gank, you're waiting in the bush and then you go in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time. Hey guys, I'm back and I will show you how you can use the minimap to extend your camera view right now.
as you can see that's my normal camera view and if I use the minimap I can extend my view like this and how you can do it my left thumb is for movement and with my left index finger I can move on the minimap so you can you have to do both at, at the same time especially on heroes that have long range like Joker and Slims that's really helpful or even on Greg So normally that would be your limit when you can see the red buff. Right here you would see it. And with the camera view extending uh, with the minimap you can see it from here already. Usually you would do it like this and extend it. It would be like this. You can already see it. Okay, let me show you guys how to do it on Slims, for example. It's a bit hard on phone because you still have to hold your phone while moving the minimap and still moving your hero. So on iPad it's much easier. Okay. Let's see. Here we can see the barely we can barely see the mini dragon. And as you can see, look at how far my skill shot can go. Okay. Now look at this. I can already use my spear from here, and usually I would need to use this from here since my Camera view is limited, so you can, you for example, bushes, look. I'm running, you can see him. Okay, he's not. <coughs> he's not moving forward. See what I mean with. With extending your camera view using the minimap, it's a good, big advantage. Actually, if you can master it, it's quite hard on phone, to be honest. But if you can master it, like using your thumbnail to move the hero and using at the same time the minimap to uh, move the camera while while moving, Penny for your thoughts. Let's see, when you're going for gang, for example, like this, you can use it to do a reach. Let's go. This Tain bot is the best dodger I have ever seen. Just kidding. Strictly business, nothing personal. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide, I guess, and I see you next time.